Hello guys, this is Vision Forge, and this is going to be video number 4 of Onshape Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a hex nut, and without fur further ado, let's get started. So, before we make a sketch or anything like that, we want to go up to these three bars right next to the Onshape logo, and go to Workspace Units. In Workspace Units, you want to make sure that the length default unit is millimeters. If it isn't, just click on it and make sure that it is and then just click the check mark. Now we want to start a sketch on the top plane. Remember the shortcut for starting a sketch is Shift S and then the shortcut for going to the top view is Shift 5. Now that we're at the top view, we want to go to Inscribed Polygon and just click on it. And then we want to go to the middle right here, which is called the origin. Click on it and then just drag outwards. Try to make sure that your poly your inscribed polygon has that vertical line constraint and just snaps. Now just click and then now you can see this cursor right here. So if you move upwards that means that it's going to increase the number of edges that your inscribed polygon has. If you move down that's going to decrease that number. For the purpose of creating a hex nut we want it to have six sides so we're just going to click and confirm, confirm that. Now the radius of this inscribed polygon should be 20 millimeters. And now we're just going to zoom in. Remember to start a circle. You just want to press C, click on the origin, and then drag outwards. This circle should have a diameter of 12 millimeters. And now we just want to extrude it. So remember, just press Shift E to extrude. And make sure that it does not extrude that inner circle. Now we go to isometric view using shift 7 and we want to extrude this circle or this inscribed polygon by 10 millimeters. Now we want to go and click on the helix function right here. Change the input type to turns and pitch. The start con condition should be start angle. Start angle should be 0 degrees. Your target revolutions should be 6, your target pitch should be 1.75. Make sure that it's in going in a clockwise direction. And for the face, click the inside of this uh, polygon. Now just press the green check mark and you're going to have something like this. Now you want to start a sketch on the front plane. So zoom outwards, and this plane that's called the front plane, just click on it and start the sketch. And then just go to the front plane using Shift 1. And now you want to make a sort of ro sideways trapezoid. So just click on, just click L to start a line. Click, and then drag downwards. Make sure that this long side has the vertical constraint. And then go inside. Make sure that line doesn't have any constraint. And then you want to make sure this line also has a constraint, and this line doesn't. And then we want to dimension. So we want to dimension this smaller line to be 0 0.825 millimeters. And then we actually want to make two construction lines within this trapezoid. So just go to the midpoint, which is you're going to see this yellow box right here, and then just drag downwards. This should be a completely vertical line going to the other midpoint. Just click Escape and L and Q again. Go to this midpoint and go to the second midpoint. Now, go back into dimensioning and you want to dimension both of these lines to be 60 degrees apart from each other. Click E for the equal constraint and make sure that both of them are equal to each other. The result is going to be this fairly equivalent looking trapezoid, sideways trapezoid. And now what you're going to do is click, right click, and go into orbit. Go and hover hover over this helix right here. You can click on it if you want to. For the purpose of this, I am going to click on it. And then you want to see this endpoint right here. Click on that endpoint and you can clear your selection of that helix. So now this endpoint 
and the top of this sideways trapezoid that you've made, these two are going to have a coincidence constraint. Either press I or click on this button right here. Now make sure that the constraint is completely, that this line and this line are both black, meaning that they're fully constrained. And then just finish your sketch. Now as you can see, if we go into isometric and then zoom in a little bit, as you can see, this line, this sideways trapezoid is completely constrained to the shape. And now, we want to use the sweep function. Before, I used the sweep function in the paperclip to display that, and you can actually use the sweep function in Tenemount with the helix constraint to make these types of faces. So now we want it to add, not be new, and to merge with this current constraint. And for the sweep path, we just want to click on this helix right here. and to have something that looks like that. Now, start a sketch on the top of the current model. Press Shift 5 to go to the top view. And then draw a circle until it is tangent with the outer rim of this trapezoid. It should come out to be 20 millimeters. Now switch the extrusion using Shift E. Extrude that circle. So now you want the circle to have extrusion. You want to switch add to intersect. You want to switch your end type to through all. And then you want it to have a draft of 45 degrees. If your hexnut doesn't have this type of constraint right now, make sure to switch to the opposite direction. And now just click the check mark to have that draft. Now go to the right plane using Shift 4. Start a sketch on said right plane. And then draw a rectangle. It doesn't matter if it's corner or uh, center, but for the purposes you might want a corner rectangle, drag outwards, and and then you want to extrude this rectangle. It doesn't matter what exact numbers it is. You want to extrude it to be through all, remove, and it needs to be symmetric to remove any of that extra helix that we have down there. Now, go to the bottom of uh, the model, use Shift 6 to go to bottom view, and do the exact same thing that we did with the prior top line. Just drag outwards to the tangent with the original model, go to extrusion, go to intersect, click through all, select draft, click 45 degrees, and you should have this. Now you can hide this. Now you are going to be left with a hue, a perfect hex set in Onshape. Now please remember to like and subscribe, and have a good day.